What's up my YouTube friends? It's Johnny V out here in Biloxi, Mississippi. Does that sign say no U-turn? I'm not sure if it said no U-turn. Well, I wasn't really planning on making a U-turn originally. Oh no, that's to get on the interstate. I don't want to go that way. Right here is Beau Rivage. The largest hotel on the casino, largest casino hotel on the beach, I should say. Your health and well-being are our priority. We look forward to welcoming you, welcoming you back soon. It's really sad. This is spring. This is about prime time, spring break. They still got the advertisements running. Up here is the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. They have two, two towers, two hotel towers. As you can see there, everything's shut down obviously. I'm going to quick make a U-turn right here. I don't want to go down there, it's all the same thing. Over here is the Mary Mahoney's. Old French house restaurant, fine dining, circa 1737. Has it really been open since 1737? I don't know. Ron White's coming in July, if they're open by then. Over here is the MGM Park. It's where the Biloxi Shuckers, the double-A baseball team Biloxi Shuckers was going to play this summer. I don't know if that's totally put on hold or not. I mean, is that totally postponed or is they going to try to push it, try to have shortened season? I don't know. beach is supposedly closed but there's about I want to say 30 cars over here I mean that could just be walking because I think you can still walk on the beach but I don't think they want people swimming on the beach and gathering and stuff like that the Biloxi um, lighthouse I mean if the beach is closed they shouldn't have jets they shouldn't be renting jet skis right that's my I mean that's my opinion if the beach is gonna if they're gonna say the beach is closed they gotta shut down all those jet ski companies that rent, you know, every every half a mile a mile they got a jet ski rental company charging you 50, 60 bucks, you know, to, to ride a jet ski. There's actually more traffic than I thought there would be. It's uh, 5 o'clock, 5.30, something like that on a Thursday afternoon. Oh, here's the White House Hotel. Yeah, they just put a lot of money into that. Opened it about, I don't know, a year or two ago. Traveling uh, west, westbound towards uh, Louisiana. Louisiana, for its size, has a ridiculously large number of cases. They, they try not to say it's due to Mardi Gras, which it may well be due to Mardi Gras because there was plenty of crowds. You know, 
they had a lot of accidents in Mardi Gras this year. People falling off floats and people getting trying to walk between floats and getting killed and stuff like that. You know, it's sorry to say, but those people, the people that did that, may have saved other people's lives because uh, the crowds really started thinning out when they said that you know, you know, be careful and all that, and about walking in between floats and stuff like that. So the crowds really I mean, and they they said that you no, know, you couldn't have any tandem floats anymore. And some of the super crews like Orpheus and Bacchus and Endymion, I think Endymion might have been the last. Uh, no, that was, that was just before Endymion. This, Endymion's a Saturday night before Mardi Gras. And this was the, all these, a lot of these accidents happened right before Endymion. So they, they, they said that they could ha could not have any tandem. <clears throat> I mean, in Orpheus, they they're known for having one of the longest, one of the longest floats. It's called Proud Mary. Is that what it's called? Proud Mary, the steamboat, something or other. That's one of my. It's one of my favorite. Something, some, oh, it's Smoking Mary, not Proud Mary. It's called Smoking Mary. Smoking Mary, because of steamboat smoking and stuff like that. It, it is the, the most awesome float. I used to have it on uh, my cell phone picture. I don't want to make this video 28 minutes long. How, how far are we? Am I, am I recording? Yes, I am. Six minutes and 30 seconds. Gas is a dollar seventy a gallon here, which is ridiculously high compared to my home of New Orleans. It's a dollar thirty-three. You can find it for a dollar, 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 maybe a dollar twenty-nine. I mean, let this be a time stamp in history. It's April second, so this is not an April Fool's joke. And gas. Is a dollar twenty nine at Sam's, Sam's Club. Up here is Treasure Bay Hotel and Casino. It's one of the smallest. It has about three or four hundred rooms, I think. It's one of the smallest hotel casinos. I think it used to be a Motel 8. I think it's the only casino that, yeah, yeah, it is the only casino that has rooms where you could drive up. What's that called, a Motel? I'm going to try to press a button to recenter my camera, so if it cuts off, hey, y'all, thanks for watching. Click the thumbs up, help me out, and all that good stuff. So I don't know if this video is going to be continuing, because I'm going to try to center this camera. I'm try to center my gimbal, so it might cut off. So if this is the end of the video, hey, remember, click the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and all that good stuff. No, it looks like it's still rolling. I just try to recenter my camera because it was off kilter. We got eight minutes. Still in Biloxi, Mississippi. We're headed west towards like uh, Biloxi Edgewater Mall. This area would be booming right now. Thursday, Thursday before the big weekend. The weekend before Easter. Plenty of spring breakers would be down here. They have huge events with music and everything at the Coliseum usually planned it for the last five or ten years. I mean it's attracted, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand people at least. A lot of them college spring breakers that come from Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee. Some even come from Florida to celebrate, you know, to have a meeting point for these for these uh, events they have scheduled. Big name, top name performers and stuff like that. When, when do y'all think? When do y'all think it's gonna uh, get back to normal? Leave you leave your uh, leave your guess in the uh, comments for me. I'm thinking uh, middle of June. I'm thinking it would be. Uh, they they predicted. One of the websites predicted uh, Louisiana to have the top of the uh, the curve, the top of the curve with the most cases. You know, uh, the uh, you know the bell curve, whatever they call it. They predicted that top the peak out at April, on April the 8th, which is six days away from now. This is almost the end of April 2nd. We've got, what, six hours left of April 2nd, so three, four, five, six, seven, about, they say in five more days until we start to reduce the number of cases, the new, reduce the number of cases every day. Because right now, the cases are still growing. We're still building on top of each other. We're still exponentially growing. 
right up here is the uh, Edgewater Mall. Thought I heard a horn. <laughs> Man, Raising Cane's is packed. I don't I mean it's it's a popular place right now, and as you can see, there's just about one or two cars in the parking lot here. And there's a big strip mall over here. Well, look at McDonald's. Wow. There's a huge strip mall over there, and it's Dollar Tree looks open. Other than that, not much else open. Yeah, Dollar Tree might be the only place open. I think we're almost to the Gulfport line. I think this green light up here, wow. I think this green light up here is the Gulfport line, yeah. This is DeBee's Road. Looks like Dubai, looks like Best Buy, but it's, this is welcome welcome to Gulfport, ladies and gentlemen. Got a couple of twin condominium rental rental places. I wonder if, I wonder if it's mostly rentals or if mostly people live there. I think it's mostly rentals. But I mean, what do they do in the winter? Because people, people don't really wanna, I guess, I guess in, in the winter it's a nice place for people to live in the north because it's a lot warmer down here. It's 72 degrees at sundown. I don't want this video to be too long. It's a lot, almost 12 minutes. Hey, remember, click the thumbs up, help me out. Support my channel if you don't mind. I got laid off uh, on March 16th, so if you, don't remind, if you don't mind, just click on that little red bell, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to make a lot of videos trying to supplement my income, supplement my unemployment income for right now until that government thing kicks in. They say we might get $600 extra a week, but I don't believe that. That's that's more than I was making before. So, I mean, the six plus the two something, two, I think we get 235 here in Mississippi. 835? <laughs> no, nobody would want to go back to work. I mean, I know I wouldn't want to go back to work making 835 a week. I could, I could easily live off of that, even support my little two kids that I got. That my wife says I never support that I live with sometimes all right well click the thumbs up help me out support my channel if you don't mind share this video make a comment make a you know a genuine comment if you don't mind hey, and I'll see y'all next time guys we're coming up on Lorraine Collin Road if you're familiar with that peace guys y'all have a great day have a great weekend